Hello and welcome to Courage to Change and You Are Loved. Yes, this is a November 21st and we are here to help support the family members of anyone who has an addiction. And I know firsthand how much we want to help the individual overcome their addiction and it becomes a struggle and it becomes our struggle. This comes on the heels of losing a family member to uh, an addiction. And there's many addictions out here and yes, Courage to Change focuses on alcoholics and we all know that there are more and different types of addicts. My hope is as I go through my healing process, I'm helping you also heal. This is Courage to Change, November 21st. Sometimes I think that because I've been in Al-Anon for a long time, I shouldn't have any more problems. When difficulties do arise, I feel something is wrong with me or with the program. Actually, in some ways, I have more problems than ever. When I come to Al-Anon, I had only one problem. I didn't know how to fix the alcoholic. My life was completely in shambles, but I swore that I was fine. Today I know that I can't fix anyone but myself. And I challenge myself daily to seek a richer, more meaningful life. I'm taking risks, facing fears, making changes, speaking up, making myself available to life. I'm bound to run into snags here and there. Sometimes life doesn't follow my blueprint. I get overwhelmed and I want to crawl under the covers and hide. At such a time, it helps to remember that Al-Anon doesn't take away problems, but it does give me the courage and insight to turn stumbling blocks into stepping stones. Today's reminder, in handling my difficulties, what's important isn't how much time I have in Al-Anon, but how willing I am to implement the tools of recovery. While Al-Anon doesn't grant immunity from problems, it does offer a healthy way to deal with them. H.W. Beecher, here's a quote. Troubles aren't often the tools by which God fashions us for better things. So often we do want to help somebody, right? And in the long run, we tend to lose ourselves. We get very <sighs> upset and frustrated. What we must keep focused on during this process is that we must help ourselves. When I went to my first Al-Anon meeting years ago, I went to help understand the alcoholic. I went to find out how can I help the alcoholic. Does this sound familiar? And instead, what I learned is I had to work on myself. I had aha moments right and left during that first meeting of, wow, I need to work on myself. I realized that not because I'm an addict or have a, an addiction, I realized that on a personal level, I had to work on the inner work. There were things that I needed to work through. I'm actually thankful that I went to that meeting because it's interesting to learn that there is a lot of great inner work that we must all do. 
And do we choose to do it? No. Do we wait for something tragic to happen or um, a big wake-up call hits and go, okay, I'm going to change. <laughs> this is the time I'm going to change. How about we do 1% each day to be better? And remember, you focus on yourself. What's more important is that you take care of yourself. Kind of like the oxygen mask in the airplane. They tell you to put it on yourself first before you put it on somebody else. So for your recovery, for your healing process, start taking care of you. This is courage to change. You are loved. If you don't believe that right now, just know that I believe in you and I'm sending some love your way.